Hi, I'm John from Our Home From Scratch, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add UV protective film to your windows. So recently, we started adding some protective film to our windows, and um, the film is we're using is from a company called Gila. We got this on Amazon.com, and I'll have a link below the video to the product information. But it's a heat control window film, and this one comes actually in platinum color. So both of these windows already have this treatment applied, and it's, it's pretty tricky to do. Uh, it's very simple, but there are some tricks that will make your life just a lot easier that I kind of figured out along the way. Because uh, if you if follow their instructions, it's mostly it's correct, but there's a couple things you could do to make it, make it go um, a little more error-proof. So we added this film mostly to protect our hardwood floors. So our hardwood floors, um, in at least our, more of a southern exposure of the house, got a little bit of sun damage a few years ago just from um, just the windows coming through the, the light coming through the windows and fading the finish of the floors. So we wanted to, we, we actually ended up replacing those floors and, and put UV film up and I wrote a blog post about that a few years ago. But um, we started to add it along the back of the house and um, again to protect the floors. Um, it's m mostly sold I think for people who are looking to reduce the, the cooling load of their home. So if you're in like the Southwest or like Texas or California or something like that, and the sun really heats your home, these will um, allow you to keep your home a little bit cooler. Uh, but since we're in the Northeast, it, it does have that benefit to some extent, but it, the more tangible benefit is uh, you, get you get less glare and any, any products in your home won't get as much sun damage. So it won't fade your couches, your carpeting, or your hardwood floors. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, how to install one of these films uh, over your window. Okay, we're gonna start this by you know, cleaning the windows here with Windex. Uh, Gila has a separate cleaning fluid they want you to use, but whatever. Um, next, I'm gonna take a measuring tape and measure the length and the width of the window pane. I'm gonna add an inch uh, in each direction, so actually two inches in each dimension, really. So you want an inch overlap on the top and the bottom. Next, I'm gonna roll out the, the film. You want this, you want it rolled out the way I'm rolling it out, so it's kind of, uh, so that one side is up. Uh, and then I'm gonna take my measuring tape and just using a pen or a marker, you're gonna mark the edge. And, um, and then I'm gonna go back with the Gila box and then trace, use that as my straight edge to trace the lines. And then it's just a matter of cutting it out with some decent, um, cutting shears here. You want to make sure you're very careful to not crimp or put an edge on this film. It's, it, it will leave a mark. So this is the part that I think adds value to this process. Um, whether you're working alone or with somebody else, I'm putting uh, scotch tape with the tacky side facing up under the corner and then I'm using another piece of tape to hold that part down. So what this does is it adheres um, the bottom of this uh, film to, the, to a work surface like a table. So we're doing this in our little morning room table here. I'm going to do this on, on all four corners and then the top and the bottom edge. So all those edges will be adhered, but the top of the film won't, uh, won't be attached to the table. It's just that bottom layer. So this film has two layers. It's got a protective layer and then the actual film that goes on the window. Now I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape. I'm going to fold half of it over on itself so I have something to grab. And then I'm going to attach the tacky part to the corner of that top part of the film. This is the top part of the film. And I'm going to do this in two corners. All right. So this is what's uh, it's going to allow me to separate this top film from the bottom protective layer. So the top film here is what will go on the window, and the part that goes on the window will be is the part of the film that's kind of between these two layers. Okay. So next, I'm going to want to take. Now I start using the Gila product. So this is their, their uh, you know, the liquid they sell separately. Uh, and it comes in a little kit, but it's basically water and some kind of like soapy stuff. So I'm gonna spray down that whole top of this film. And then I'm also gonna spray part of the table. Basically, this film is extremely tacky to itself. There's no glue on it. It's not like it's got an adhesive, but it, if it touches itself, it's gonna stick to itself and then it's gonna leave a crease. If you leave a crease in this stuff, it's not going to look very good on your window. 
Um, so as I peel it off using that piece of tape in the corner, I'm going to be spraying all that exposed edge that I'm revealing um, on, the, on the other side of the film. So again, we, we sprayed the top of this platinum film. Now I'm going to spray the bottom. So see what I'm doing? I'm folding it over on itself and uh, I'm, I'm spraying the whole thing. Now if I hadn't sprayed the top and I'm just spraying it as I pull it, like what I'm doing right here, this would stick to itself and you'd be... You'd be, do it. You'd be done here. Um, so what I'm doing is, and this works great with two people. So you can have someone pulling on the tabs and someone else spraying. But it, you, you could, by taping it to the table this way, it allows you to do this by yourself. This is a one-person job now that, that I kind of came up with this little way to tape it to your table. So I'm going to step in front of the camera here. And I'm going to keep pulling on it. And as I pull it every few inches, I'm going to lay it down on the wet surface. Now the table's wet. The back of the film's wet. All of because it's wet, it's gonna it's gonna allow me to separate it pretty easily, so it won't it won't stick to something. This is a lesson I learned the hard way. Um, so I'm again I'm just gonna gratuitously and liberally spray this all over the table. It's not gonna ruin the table. It's not gonna ruin the wood, and I'm gonna keep pulling it. So you can see it's separating. So the part that's coming off that I'm separating, that's the part that's going on the window. The other part that's tacked to the table, once I separate this, that can be thrown away and it, you know, we can leave it on the table for now. So I'm just going to completely pull this apart and it should be sopping wet on both sides. So that's how you know it's, it's good to work with. If any part of this is dry, it's going to want to stick to itself. All right, so now I'm going to take that spray again and I'm going to blast this window very, very liberally with this Gila spray. And um, you want the whole pane is sopping wet again, so you're, um, you're going to make a mess when you do this. Next, I'm going to grab my film, and you can see as soon as you just lay it on there, it's actually going to suck itself to the window. It's just going to attach. You don't have to, just as soon as it hits the window, it's, it's on. It's very easy to work with at this point, but again, you want to avoid getting any dry spots or having it fold in on itself anywhere. Um, so now it's just a matter of... Um, getting it, getting all the air bubbles out, getting it tucked in the corners. There's a little squeegee you can use uh, and you want to basically push it into, into the edges of the window pane. And then what I'm going to do, they sell, they provide this little cutting tool in their kit, but I don't like the cutting tool they provide. I don't think it's, I just don't think it works well. So I'm going to use a square um, box cutter, like one of those, you know, square edge ones. Um, you can use a regular box cutter if you've got a sharp enough edge on it. And so what I'm doing is I'm basically, you know, spatuling or buttering this, this film. I'm trying to work out the bubbles very gently. And I, I always want, I'm, I'm pushing it into the edges, but when I'm pulling it across the center, you always want to pull it towards you rather than push on it. Uh, that way you won't get any scratches. So you're kind of gently patting it. Um, so this part takes the longest and it's, and it's, it's a sort of a, you know, perfectionist process where you just want to take your time with this, get the bubbles out. Uh, if any part isn't sticking, you can peel it back and spray the window again, if, if, if that helps. I'm going to use this straight edge to guide my box cutter uh, and basically put a cut in the corner. It cuts very easily. With all four pieces removed, so all the trims pulled out, you can just spatula clean the bubbles and you're all done. Overall, this job is pretty easy to do, but there are some finesse areas you, you, know, you have to work on. But that's it. Uh, so I, if you attempt this, good luck. It's not too hard. And we'll see you in the next video.